I'm coming today with a Zendikar Rising addition to our Clerics deck. That's right, Zendikar Rising is officially out. I've been at work all day, but I am finally home. Finally got to open up some packs and see what we have. Uh, so taking our Clerics deck that I've showed you guys before, we've made a couple adjustments. Um, uh, the first one is Expedition Healer. Uh, it's really only a 2-drop for 2-2. Two, two. But it does have Vigilance, and as long as you control another Cleric, you now have Lifelink. So the Vigilance is really useful, as well as the Lifelink, since most of the creatures in this deck are in fact Clerics. Null Priest of Oblivion. This card is really good for several reasons. One, the Menace and the Lifelink. But two, for its Kicker ability, it kind of acts like another Call of the Death Dweller. If we do kick it, even though it's somewhat expensive, we get to bring a creature card from our graveyard to the battlefield. And what's nice about this, though, is it does not have a uh, mana cost restriction to what creatures we can bring back. So if we lose something really important that costs four mana, let's say, like a Brood Moth, we can bring it back by kicking Null Priest. Uh, Core Celebrant. It is pretty much another cleric that whenever a creature enters the battlefield, including itself, which is nice, we gain one life. It is also a 1-4 through 3, so just some added defense, no lifelink or anything. Duskfang Mentor, I might trade this out for something else. It was pretty much just to be able to put 1-1 one -one counters on our creatures with lifelink, or any non-human creature, we can give it a lifelink counter as well, since some of our creatures are starting to not have lifelink as much like Marauding Blight Priest. Whenever we gain life, whatever the amount, our opponents lose one life. Not really doing a whole lot of damage to our opponent, but still a really nice addition to this deck. Um, then pretty much our same stuff from the rest, or the earlier foundation of this deck. So let's just jump right into a game, see how it does. There's still some really good uh, black and white clerics that I would like to get. I just need to open up more packs and try to get them. So let's see who will go first. We will be going first. We have plenty of mana, an Archfiend's Vessel, Hollowed Priest. I will be keeping this hand. So, turn one, Archfiend's Vessel. Blue deck. Blue mill. I think the plan is going to be put Marauding Blight Priest on the field first. I think that is going to be the call, and then follow it up with Core Celebrant. Um, this way we'll still be getting some damage done to our opponent. Trigger the ability, gain counters, and do some damage to our opponent, some extra damage. This next turn will be Scored Barons, followed by Core Celebrant, unless we get something like a Brood Moth that we might play that first. Discards two cards. Uh, that is unfortunate, but I th think I want to go with the land. Which I know is generally a dumb move. But the mana curve in this deck sticks real heavily around 3. There's only a couple of creatures that cost 4 mana, and only a couple things that cost more than that, so it really hovers around the 3 to 4 mana range, which is really nice. Uh, kicking abilities and like Clackbridge Troll, those cards definitely cost more. Luminous Broodmoth, but 3-4 is kind of where it's at. I'm swinging 
in with Hollow Priest just so that I can keep pretty much everything else open to attack. As long as I have Lifelink, I can keep triggering the abilities from Marauding Blight Priest as well as Veto Thor. The Dusk grows. As soon as I play Indulging Patrician onto the field, it'll trigger Core Celebrant, which will trigger Marauding Blight Priest, uh, which will trigger Veto. <laughs> so, this deck is all about chain reactions of the clerics. question is, what are they going to do? Ooh, and this is going to do wonders right here. That should put us in a really good spot for game. Game. Well, there you guys have it. That's just another little quick playthrough. Zendikar Rising is going to have some really cool cards in it. I'm really happy that it's out. I wish I had a little bit more time to dive into it. I'm still working on our Nahiri deck. I just need to draw some more cards and mess around and look at it a little bit more. See what's going to mesh, see what's going to work together. But this Cleric deck has been plug and play. I'm really hoping to get a couple more cards, really tweak it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a comment, let me know. Uh, it's always good to hear from you guys. Uh, until next time.